Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper at RadioPreppers.com. I've been thinking about a uh, prepping frequency uh, for quite some time, a main prepping frequency. Um, and uh, first I had to decide which band would be uh, best uh, suited for the task. Uh, the frequency in question would have to uh, work for everything, all ranges, including uh, local, regional and global communications. Uh, and there is only uh, one band that can do that, and that's the 40 meter amateur band. Um, I thought about CB, uh, you know, other possibilities, but um, really when it comes down to it, uh, the most reliable uh, is the, uh, you know, seven megahertz um, 40 meter band from seven to 7.2, 7 7.3 megahertz. So I also posted about this on uh, radioprappers.com and got some uh, feedback. Next, uh, we had to decide uh, which modes would be, uh, modulation modes would be the best. Uh, of course, uh, Morse code CW mode uh, was uh, ranking pretty high because it's so efficient and you can uh, have uh, extremely long range with uh, Morse code because it's just a tone and uh, there's a lot of power there. Uh, it's probably uh, you get, uh, you know, five watts in uh, CW is about equal to 100 watts uh, voice. So uh, that was an easy choice to make. So CW is uh, one mode. Uh, and then USB, upper sideband. Why upper sideband and not lower sideband like is normally used on the, the 40 meter band? Uh, simply to, uh, first of all, to differentiate uh, people who are calling for, you know, uh, prepping purposes, so to speak, uh, and uh, the others, uh, the other amateurs, and also to allow for the use of uh, military radios, which, uh, you know, a lot of them uh, only have USB. So uh, USB, uh, I think, is a very good choice here. So we have CW and USB. Uh, digital modes are unfortunately not possible that uh, you know in all of the band CW is allowed everywhere uh, I think in the US if you have a general license you need to be above 7.175 I believe uh, in Europe we can go above 7.2 megahertz so the frequency had to be between 7.175 and 7.2 uh, megahertz now, there is a group called uh, HF Pack who carry radios on their backs and uh, make contacts like that, and I think it's awesome. And uh, lots of them use military radios, and uh, so they use USB as well. And their frequency is 7.185.5. That's a little bit uh, difficult to remember. Um, and I didn't want to take their frequency. Uh, but I wanted to be very close so that if someone called using the USB mode on the prepping frequency, that someone on the HF pack frequency would hear it and maybe think, oh, they're just a little bit off frequency. I don't think they would mind uh, having uh, people using USB uh, uh, in that uh, vicinity because, of course, uh, it gives them the opportunity to make contacts. Uh, so. Nobody owns frequencies, of course, it's just, uh, you know, guideline. Um, and what I'm going to propose is a guideline as well, but I would like to um, promote uh, maybe that frequency so that more people with a, uh, the same mindset uh, start talking, you know, and, and contact each other. And that frequency uh, that I propose uh, is a 7185 kilohertz. 7.185 megahertz so you guys uh, tell me what you think about it um, that's my proposition and uh, i would like some feedback down below in the comments uh, pros and cons and uh, i know we're not going to agree uh, not everyone is going to agree on it but uh, i think it would be a good thing to have a common frequency where we can uh, 
call each other and uh, have a slight chance of uh, making contact. And that's it for this one. Have a good one.